Raven Vapes. If you're watching this video right now, there's no doubt that you think you're pretty hot shit, right? You want to take your vaping, you know, to the next level. You want to take it up a freaking notch. Well, if you think you got what it takes, then welcome to the first lesson in advanced freestyle vaping. Now, if you think you got what it takes, then let's begin. You have what it takes to fail miserably, okay? You're not going to be throwing any storm clouds anytime soon, all right? You got a long road ahead of you. Uh, does that make you mad, huh? Oh, you get mad? Good, bottle it, because we're going to need that shit later down the road. Because I'm talking about blowing clouds so dense they could stop a baseball in midair, okay? Yeah, but I... But I won the cloud competition at my local vape shop. Well, now I know you don't get it. Vaping's not a competition, okay? Actually, you know what? It is a competition. Vaping is a competition, and you lost when you got out of bed this morning. So maybe tomorrow, hit the snooze bar on your Dove Pro Emec and uh, go back to sleep because you're dreaming. Yeah, but, but I got a t-shirt that says I'm on the vape crew or some shit. You know what? Vape gear is not going to make you a vapor, alright? You can't buy into it. You know, before you were a vapor last week, you know, were you wearing shirts that said, I'm a smoker? You know, it's not cold, I'm smoking. I'm a person. I'm on the people team. What the hell is that? If you want to advertise vaping to people, you know, blow a cloud that blocks out the frickin' sun. Put the fear of mod in them. Before you can live a new vaping life, you need a new soul, because your current soul isn't good enough, okay? Vaping is spiritual. The vapor in the air has wisdom. This shit is ancient, okay? This goes back to like Native Americans, all right? You think they were playing around with their peace pipes? Okay? They were freaking talking to their elders, all right? And they knew a hell of a lot more about shit than you do. You think they were sitting around the sweat lodge with freaking Phil Busardo? You know, this is spiritual. You can't hook this up to an ohm meter. All right, so before we do anything, you need to find your inner vape animal, all right? Now here's what you gotta do. I want you to take a hit. You gotta exhale that and look into the vapor, all right? Look into its eyes. And you see the first animal that comes to mind before the vapor dissipates, okay? Now it might be really quick, so you gotta stay open to it. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video and uh, then we'll come back to step three. All right. Step three is you're an idiot. Inner vape animals? <sighs> Remember when you were in like high school and you'd see third graders walking home? That's how I see you're vaping. It's like got a stupid backpack with a cartoon character on it. All right, we'll do, we'll do step three anyways. You need to change the way you think about the vapor, all right? Vaping isn't just a safer alternative to smoking, okay? That vapor is an extension of yourself, all right? So you might be blowing clouds, but are you throwing shapes yet? You know? But I can, I can blow vape rings. Yeah, I don't wear diapers anymore, but I'm not bragging about it, okay? That's like a micro baby step. You know, come back and talk to me when you can blow vape rings and turn a doorknob with them and open a door. Then we're talking, all right? That's the kind of commitment. When you're blowing vape rings that can turn a doorknob and open a door, you might have what it takes to move on. Congratulations. That was your first baby step towards not sucking so much. I hope that you're seeing your vaping a little differently now. Because vaping doesn't start with 
high VG and sub ohms and 200 watt box mods starts here. I'm Raven Vapes. Vape heart.